So just some other kind of like side tips for anybody. And I've, I guess some of these I've kind of already mentioned, but number one, like biggest, most important thing, please smile. Um, please smile because that's what they're looking for. They're looking to see if you can perform and you want to show them that you can perform and that you can animate yourself and that you can be those characters. So do not lose a smile no matter what. Don't don't give them like a fake smile that you know is fake. Um try and be try and have a genuine smile on your face. Like try and actually enjoy yourself cuz it's a fun experience. There's no reason that anybody wouldn't want to be there. Also, um make sure that your fa hair is off your face. Um there were a lot of girls in there who had really long hair, beautiful hair, but it kept getting in their face and then it just it makes it more difficult for them to look at you. Um, so make sure that your hair is pulled off. It doesn't have to be slipped back into a bun. Like I just like I said, I just pulled mine up into a semi messy ponytail. I messy ponytail. I can only do so much with my hair. It's not that long. But um, do get it off your face because you don't want it getting in your hair, especially because it gets hot. Like when you're in a tight space with a ton of people, it gets hot. And you don't want all this hair, especially if you have a lot of it, up in your face. Like, just, you don't want to go there. Um, so put your hair up off your face. Um, obviously, this is regarding females. Um, wear makeup. Don't go without makeup. Um, but don't wear, like, stage makeup. Um, there were a lot of girls in there who were, like, really dolled up. Um, <clears throat> I would say my makeup, you can't really tell on this quality of camera, but um, I didn't do a ton. I was doing my makeup in the car, so it was difficult for me to really do what I wanted. Um, and the lighting in the car made it seem like I was hardly putting anything on, but then I got into the shade, and I was like, ooh, that was a lot more than I wanted. Um, so I have a little bit, all I did was I did my normal foundation because I have acne and I can't not put foundation on and um, <clears throat> that would be another thing I would say if you have acne don't be discouraged because you're not the only one I thought I was going to be the only one there with acne I was like oh my gosh all these girls are going to have like perfect skin and they're going to be absolutely beautiful I'm going to be the only person with acne no I wasn't so don't if you're in kind of my mindset right now um, don't be, because you're not the only one, and it's really not going to, um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But don't, don't overdo your makeup, because they can, they want to see what you look like semi-naturally, so that if they are considering you for a face character, they can kind of make a better judgment, because if you have a ton of makeup on your face, they can't make a good judgment so don't cake the makeup on your face um, so like I said I put foundation on um, I put like a light cream um, like a vanilla color eyeshadow all over my lid I didn't do anything else for eyeshadow and I put a light brown eyeliner um, and I like smudged it under here so that it was like lighter because I don't like black mess or I don't like black um, eyeliner. Um, I just, for some reason, I, I've never, well, I've used it, but nevertheless, it's not my favorite. Um, so I used brown eyeliner and I tried to make it super light. And like I said, in the lighting that I had, it looked like it was really light. And then I put like, um, I had like a Mary Kay gel eyeshadow, but because my eyes are green, um, I like to put purple, um, kind of like eyeliner because it makes green stand out supposedly. Um, so I had like a purple Mary Kay gel eyeshadow and I used my angle brush to put it over top of my brown eyeshadow. And then when I got into the shade, it was like a lot more dramatic than I wanted it to be. So I tried to tone it down as much as I could in the car with very limited tools. Um, so I would say don't go overboard on your eye makeup. 
Um, and then I just put blush on. And I had red lipstick, but I didn't like go overboard on like dramatic red lips. I just wanted it to be like so that they can see my lips, <laughs> you know. Um, so I just did it like very like I just dabbed it a little bit so that there was color there. Um, and that was it. Um, and then mascara. So um, if you have perfect skin, I would say um, maybe a little bit of foundation. You don't have to put it on as if you were like going to a party or a show or like um, performing in a show. You don't have to put it on very heavily. If you have perfect skin, put a little bit on to even your skin tone. Um, put on maybe some mascara, maybe a little bit of brown eyeliner. Um, but I, if I had perfect skin, I would not be wearing a ton of makeup just because I don't, wouldn't feel the need to. So if you got it, flaunt it, you know? Um, anyway, so that's another tip that I have. Um, just don't cake your makeup on. And then as far as what you wear, there, you could really wear whatever. I mean, don't go crazy. Don't go getting crazy <laughs> now. Um, I wore, I'm wearing leggings and a shirt, a t-shirt with a sports bra. Um, and that was pretty much the general, like, theme of what was going on outfit-wise. It was mostly, you know, athletic clothes. Um, socks. I, I didn't, I didn't even wear, like, tennis shoes. Like, some people say, you know, wear tennis shoes or wear ballet shoes. I just wore my socks. And we were on Marley, so um, it was a little easier. It wasn't like super slick. Um, so it's easy for it's easier for me to dance in socks than it is to dance in like jazz shoes or sneakers or anything. I mean, if I have to, I can, but if I have the choice, I'm going to wear socks. Um, so yeah, um, where I would suggest wearing something um, semi form fitted, not like super tight. Um, but semi-form fitted and something where they can see like your lines, um, especially during the real dance, the really dancey part, because they want to see your lines, um, which is again another reason you should have your hair up because it distracts from the rest of your body. Um, uh, so I mean, there were some girls that were in there in like a dress, um, and it seemed to work for them. So. Um, and one girl was wearing like character shoes. I wouldn't recommend wearing character shoes just because first of all, they're really loud and um, you really don't need them. Um, so I would say um, if you are gonna wear shoes, wear sneakers or jazz shoes um, or, or go barefoot or, or wear socks. I wouldn't suggest, I wouldn't recommend character shoes. Um, it just seems like making it so much more difficult on yourself than it needs to be. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, wear something that you're comfortable in. They're not super picky about what you wear. I mean, don't come in wearing just a sports bra and like little teeny booty shorts. It's not a dance audition. I mean, it is a dance audition, but it's not like it's not like a so you think you can dance audition where that's normal. It's Disney, so wear something you know family friendly. Um, and yeah, um, so wear something that shows off your lines, some, something that you're comfortable in, um, but don't get crazy. That's all I can say. Don't get crazy. As far as the animation one goes, um, you can watch a ton of videos to see all of the different scenarios and think about what how you would perform each of those. Um, and then they give you time in the audition to practice an animation scene. So it's not like you don't have opportunity to practice it there. Just kind of think about it ahead of time. You don't have to like totally plan it step for step, but just kind of think of a storyline. Um, you only have about 10-15 seconds to do it. So think of a quick beginning, a quick middle, and a quick end. Um, you don't want to have to finish in the middle of your animation because then it's like didn't end. Honestly, even if you're a really great dancer, if you don't have the performance quality the entire time, you're not going to make it through. And I say that because there were a couple of guys 
guys, not girls. Well, maybe there are a couple of girls. But I noticed there were two guys that you could tell they were dancers. But they looked like dancers. <clears throat> and um, I just noticed that they kind of looked like you could see it in their face that that was all really easy for them. And that's generally a negative. <laughs> um, you don't want to have that face. Um, because they didn't make the first cut. And they were great dancers. I mean, from what I could tell, they were great dancers. But they were not, they did not know how to perform. Well, maybe they did know how to perform, but they did not perform. And they looked bored. And they didn't make it. So, if you look bored, probably not going to make it very far. So, don't look bored. Just don't. <laughs> um, and yeah, just that's really the biggest thing. Just have a good time. It's a fun experience. Um, it's not the end of the world if you don't make it. I mean, there's more. There are more than one audition. You can go to more than one audition. Um, and then just because you don't make it as a character performer doesn't mean you can't do the Disney College program. Um, if I don't make it as character performer, I'm still going to go down as a lifeguard because it's still a great experience. So don't be bummed out if you don't make it as a character performer. And if you feel crappy about your audition, oh well. I mean, you have, you can have, you'll have, you might have another opportunity um, to try again. Um, but I mean, don't give up on the college program altogether. And I would encourage you to still apply and participate in the program, even if you don't get accepted as a character performer, because you can still have a good time. Of course, I'm. I, I'm still in the process of finding finding all this out, and of course I'm not there, so I've never done this before. But um, from what I've heard from other people, because I know lots of people who've done it, um, and I've heard great things about it, and I'm excited to go either as a lifeguard or a character performer. I will be happy either way. I'm just looking forward to the experience. All right, so that is all I have for this vlog. I hope you guys found it helpful and enjoyable. Um, so if you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to comment. Um, make sure you like and subscribe so that you can keep up with um, on my Disney experience. Um, I'm really excited about this experience and um, I'm excited to put up more videos. So um, yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and um, that you found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Uh, have a magical day and Merry Christmas.